If you've ever wondered if you're actually asleep during hypnosis, then this video is for you. If we haven't met yet, my name is Nicole Hernandez and I am a board certified hypnotist and also one of the resident healers at the Four Seasons Hotel in New York downtown. Now let's get into this question because often I have people that are interested in hypnosis, but they have a very old understanding of what it actually is. So my goal is to demystify hypnosis and make it more accessible to people so that they can find the healing that is available within this modality. So let's first address this. Where does it come from? Where do, where does this idea generate that hypnosis is about sleep, that you have to be asleep? Well, as you might recall, maybe you've experienced this yourself. Often in stage hypnosis shows, you will find the hypnotists will bring a bunch of people onto stage and one by one, they begin to sort them out. And now there's like a few left. And those people are considered the most suggestible out of everybody that was available in that group. All of a sudden you'll see the stage hypnotist say something like three, two, one, asleep. And everybody on the stage suddenly <laughs> cogs out. It looks like they're asleep. And so this is really where this kind of idea has been building from that we think people are asleep during hypnosis. Now that's a really fun version of hypnosis and stage hypnosis really do this because it's all about entertainment. And it's also to show you that you can use your body, your mind, your imagination to have different experiences in the world, which I think is really fun. But when we use hypnosis in terms of actually helping us to do real work, to change, you know, old habits, old behaviors, old patterns, old beliefs, then we aren't actually going to do any of the kind of stuff that you might have seen in stage hypnosis shows. Now, the whole goal of the work I do is to really help people become more internally connected with their thoughts, their beliefs, their behaviors. And in this way, we can begin to examine in a way that's calm and collected and begin to choose different ways that we want to be in our lives. You know, sometimes we are conditioned by our families, by our environment to think or behave one way in life. And then we get to a certain point in our life, adolescence, adulthood, maybe working in a certain environment where that old belief doesn't work anymore. In fact, it's stopping us from next leveling in our lives. And that's the work that we want to do within hypnotherapy is to allow us to change those old things, the old conditions, the old patterns to allow us to then lead a better life. I want my clients awake. In fact, the research shows that being asleep actually isn't helpful unless you've learned something during the day and you're just reinforcing it at the beginning of your sleep. So that 90 minute chunk that you have for the first sleep cycle that first part of it, when you begin to move from your beta, which is that waking state that you're in to alpha, a little bit more meditative to theta is where we really kind of get into that space of falling into sleep. It's kind of that twilight zone or the twilight feeling I should say, and then moving into Delta, our deeper sleep. So hypnosis can be helpful when we move into alpha because we're more relaxed and we're more receptive when our brain doesn't go in a million places. And then we move into, into that theta, which is where our body starts to rest and digest. But we don't actually want to be in the space of Delta unless we're reinforcing something that we learned during the day. You actually are not asleep when you're in hypnosis for the purpose of changing your life. When you're doing hypnosis for the purpose of actually helping you with your healing and your self growth. You can be in hypnosis for sleep if it is suggested during a state show. Well, if this video was helpful, then please give it a little thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, please leave it below as I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have to make hypnosis more accessible to you. It is truly my belief that when we journey within, we can go beyond. And I hope to see you soon.